Good day, class. My name is Abiono James, electrical instructor. We'll be examining special topic as that is electric motor. Special in what sense? Special because its application is widely used, especially in the industry. 85% of industrial loads are based on electric motor. For production lines to mechanical machine shops, electric motor is what is doing the job. And because of that, we will be considering this topic based on number one, the operational principle behind electric motor. We will consider its construction and design. And number three, we'll be examining the applications. So let's start. What is electric motor? It is a machine that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. It is a machine. It converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. So the principle behind the operation of electric motor is what we call electromagnetism induction. Electromagnetism induction, electricity, magnetism combined. So it, this will lead us to physics class. To achieve electromagnetism induction, we have what we call two permanent magnets, north and south. In between these two magnets, is what we call magnetic magnetic flux or lines of force. We now place a conductor. Sometimes some people use loop conductor but I'm just using a straight line conductor. And both end is connected to a battery. This battery sign, this battery. Some reaction will take place here based on three forces. We have permanent magnets north and south. We have our conductor and we have our battery. So we call it factors responsible for torque because torque is what we want to achieve, rotation. Number one is the distance between the magnets, which is north and south, the closer the distance, the better. Why? Because it will produce enough strength, so the strength for the magnetic flux. The distance determines the strength. And number three is the amount 
of current flowing into the conductor. And when we have this, when current flows into this conductor, because it is the conductor is inside is this magnetic line of force. So there is a force coming from the magnet, north to south. So another current is now flowing into the what? Into this conductor. What will happen? It will push this conductor towards this side. The force, the force at which the conductor moves towards the other end of the magnet is what we term torque. And that is what we call inertia force for rotation. We are going to see it in electric motor and it is time torque. So that is the torque, that is the, the force of rotation, torque. This is the principle behind any electric motor. That is the principle. So having seen this principle, then let us see. We are talking about electric motor. Types of electric motor. Basically, in time of power supply, we have two types of electric motor. We have DC electric motor and AC electric motor. Now, I said in time of what? Power supply. This direct current electric motor and this what? Alternative current electric motor. But in time of usage in the industry, we use AC electric motor more more because of the what? Availability of alternating current source. It's all over. And because of that, we are going to concentrate more on this. AC electric motor is divided into two types. Number one, we have under AC, we have single phase electric motor. And we have three phase electric motor. Let me start with single phase electric motor. Of course, single phase are electric motors that are powered with 220 volts, 220 volt power supply, live and neutral. So let me give us a drawing of a single phase electric motor. Let me give us single phase motor. We have what we call the running coil and the st starting coil. You can see this running and this starting coil. The running coil and static coil. Of course, we have our rotor. This is the rotor that is rotating. And then we have the capacitor connected across both starts and 
running coil. Class, listen attentively. How can I identify the rolling coil from the starting coil? One, the rolling coil, the starting coil has less number of tons. Starting coil has less number of tons. Why the rolling coil has more number of tons? So the rolling coil tons is greater than the starting coil. Then, both ends are joined together. This is start of the coil, end of the coil. Start of the coil, end of the coil. Both ends are joined together. And this place is connected to neutral. Then, both starts are linked together with a capacitor. Then, life is applied here. When you apply life, so the capacitor helps you to do what? To overcome the obstacle that we have with induction circuits. And what is that? In induction circuits, current is lagging. In inductor circuits, current is lagging because this is an inductor. And with F of cap capacitor, it will do what? Capacitor in capacitor in capacitance circuits, current is leading. In inductive circuit, current is lagging. Because of that, it will now help us to have the current in phase. And when the current is in phase, then the current will no more be lagging. So it's, the moment you own the electric motor, it will start. And that is the function of the capacitor, to start it. And the moment it starts working instantly, which within some time, the current will flow through the running coil. This is simple circuit diagram of a single phase electric motor. And with this, we can apply it to different types of single phase electric motor we are having be it single phase centrifugal starts, capacitor starts, or double capacitor starts, single phase electric motor. Sometimes they call it cap synchronous capacitor single phase motor. So this is the principle behind all of them. Two, in the industry, the industry makes use of three-phase electric motor more than single phase. In time of efficiency, in time of load balancing, and in time of maintenance, three-phase is the ideal electric motor. When we are talking about three-phase electric motor, we have two major types. The first one, is asynchronous electric motor and the second one is synchronous electric motor. What is asynchronous electric motors? Asynchronous electric motor are electric motor that are self-excited self excited they are self excited motor a sample of this is what we have as induction motor our induction motor is a synchronous motor we have square cage motor. It's also a synchronous motor. We have warmed, warmed rotor 
electric motor. It's also what? A synchronous motor. They are all self-excited. It requires no additional source to start it. So with that, I'm going to talk about its construction. The construction of induction motor. So I'm going to use induction motor to explain this because it is more available in the industry compared to others. So construction of induction motor. It has two major parts. Two major parts. That's not the only one. Major. Two. We have the stator. Stator is the stationary part. Which houses the the coil. So the coil are wound on the stator. The second part is the rotor. Rotor. We have the rotating parts. Part of the motor. Which is linking to the shaft. Of course, the shaft is the rotating part. The rotor is the rotating part. The rotating... Okay, the rotating part of the motor which is linking to the shaft. Now, these are the two major parts in terms of construction. However, we have the following two. There are also parts. We have the cooling fan. We have end, end shield. in the front and at the back. We have the bearings in the front of the end shield and also at the back of the end shield. And with all this, we have the construction part of our Induction motor. Now, let me quickly say this. Let me draw this so that you will. So, we call these slots. So, the coils, this, the stator. The coil I want on the slot. This is slot. Coil here, coil here, coil here. The slot carries the coil. Then in between, we have our rotor. This is the rotor. The rotor has no physical connection to the stator. So the two are separated from each other with what we call a gap that is and it's is balance the air gap so when current flows in line one line two line three current flows in into this coil what happened then it will induce an emf into the what into the rotor the rotor is embedded 
copper that are short at each end. So there is no physical connection. You can't see it. The copper are embedded into the rotor. So it will now induce, that's why we call it electromagnetism induction. It will induce DMF into this rotor and whereby initiating what we call an inertia force, which in turn produces torque. And that is how rotation is generated. This is the construction. However, the things that you must know, and that will take us to the next thing that are very critical in electric motor. We call it number one, windings connection. Winding connections. We have two types of winding connection. One, we have star winding connection. Let me just put star connection. And two, data connection. Star. What is star? Let me draw it. This is line one, this is line two, and this is line three. Line one comes in, line two comes in. Star, the winding starts and starts and starts and. All the end of the motors are terminated together. At where? At one point. So this is being interpreted in this form. All electric motor has six terminal plug. This six terminal point six in the terminal plug. We have, we have six of them. All the end start end in the slots. We have special arrangements to so start and end. All the end are joined together. And then power with line one, line two, line three. And then this is star. Then we have this star connection. Then we have the data. Let me draw it. In data connection, we have this. Of course, we are talking about three phase. Everything is balanced. Line one, line two, line three. So we have start, end, start, end, start, end. So meaning the six terminals of the electric motors at each Termination points, we have start and end, 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 start and end. Line one, line two, line three. That is the meaning of data. So apart, these are the two major winding connection of electric motor. The electric motor can, e, can only be connected in two major forms, either as star or data. Although we have what we call star data motor starter. In star data motor starter, the links are removed and the 
Winding as standing alone. So you, you connect. So the selection of star and data is being done using our electromechanical controller devices, the contactor. But on electric motor, you either use it as star or data in time of connection. However, for good connection, you must understand what we call windings arrangement. The first one I talk about is windings connection, either star or data. However, that is windings arrangement. As I've said, each electric motor comes with six terminals. So the winding start and end, start and end. So we have A, B, C. One, one, one. I'm going to use in our electric motor, you will not see A, B, C. You will see U, V, and W. So I'm going to use that too so that you can see the winding. That is U, V, W, one, one, one. So I will use this. And how is the arrangement? Two major arrangements. Number one, look at this. This is A1, B1, C1. In mathematic expression, if this is A1, this is A2, this is B1, this is B2, this is C1, this is C2. No, we don't do that in electric motor. So if this is A1, one side is directly adjacent. One side, you either use A or you either use C. So I'm using A now. This will be A2. And then this is there. This will be what? C2. And this will be B2. A, C, B. This is the arrangement that can produce torque, which is implies here using U2, W2, and V2. I'm using A at as a gen, which is U. Or the second one, the six terminals. I want to use A, B, C, one, one, one. And I'm using C as my adjacent, C. This will be C2, this will be what, A2, and this will be B2 which is equal to this. This arrangement is very, very important. Please take notes. So this equals to what? U, V, W, 1, 1, 1. I'm now using W down. This will be what? W, 2, U, 2, and V, 2. Now, let me start with the first one and data the second one. To start it, you link the three, and then you power it with line one, line two, line three. This conversion of electrical energy to mechanical energy. Start it, you link up and down together, and have line one, line two, line three. Now, the next thing, maintenance of, oh, before I move to maintenance, let me quickly touch synchronous motor. What is a synchronous motor? I will not draw, I will just explain. A synchronous motor is a motor that is being excited with a DC source. Asynchronous are self-excited, meaning they are excited with the same source that power it, which is AC. But for synchronous, you have to use DC source to excite it. Two, it is an electric motor that runs at a constant speed, both at no load and at full load. It runs at constant speed, both at no load and at full load. Number three, 
it has what we call, I'm talking about synchronous motor, it has what we call power factor improvement correction with it. It has power factor improvement correction with it. Unlike induction motor, it's for where we have too much of induction motor, for me to have a good power factor improvement correction, I must also have what we call a capacitor bank. And that is the advantage of synchronous motor over induction motor. However, the cost of synchronous motor are more. So it, it is more expensive compared to all asynchronous motor. Now, this will now lead us to the maintenance of electric motor. Maintenance of electric motor. To talk about maintenance of electric motor, maintenance begins from your installation work. Maintenance begins from, inst from the what? Installation point. Number one. Number one, the shaft must be very, very free. And because of the argument between the mechanical people and the electrical people, we carry out what we call internal connection shaking of the air gap. So in practical class, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Number two. Number two, the electric motor must be mounted or fixed on a smooth surface of metal, metallic material or concrete. So you can either use an iron base to mount it or a concrete. But note, void of vibration. Vibration is a killer. A killer of electric motor. Once you start your electric motor and it's not balanced, the surface is not smooth, and there is what vibration, it will damage the electric motor. Number three, and you can see this uh, mechanical, mechanical, mechanical in time of number three. Now, number three is electrical. This two are mechanical and then is something we can do too. The power supply must conform to the nameplate information. Name plate. Now, listen. All the necessary information that you need for 
electric motor that you want to work on is on the name plate. In time of power supply, in time of connection, either star or data, in time of power factor, in time of, in fact, current, in time of power rating, all the necessary information or data that you need is on the name plate. So you can see maintenance is very, very key. When you do all this, and then when you connect your electric motor, the next thing you must dust it, clean it, don't allow it to accumulate dust. So from here, from this power supply, we, in the next class, an electromechanical controller class, we'll be talking about motor starter so that it must be adequately protected so that it will prevent damage. You can see, electric motor. We started from AC and DC electric motor, the major two types. However, because of availability of AC source, in the industry, we make use of AC electric motor, which is single phase and three phase. And because of load balancing, efficiency, durability, we go for three phase, which is more useful in the industry. And the three phase is also divided into two, synchronous electric motor and a synchronous electric motor. I also measure types of synchronous motor and, and I focus on induction motor, the construction, the major two parts, which are what? Rotor, the rotor, and the stator. Rotor is the stationary part of the electric motor, and rotor is the rotating part of the electric motor. From there, I, we talk about the connection of electric motor, which are star connection and data connection. Although we have special arrangement, which I've drawn, the connection for you. From there, we move to the maintenance. The maintenance begins from installation. Very free. The surface of, of installation must be smooth, be it iron or concrete. Notes, no fabrication. And then you follow the what name plate information given so that electrically you can install to protect and also to, it will be able to serve in the area of what you want it to do for you. So, and then other classes that we'll be having, we'll be doing more practical of this. For now, electric motor is very key. It's a machine. Anything you see in the industry is a machine to us that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. Thank you.